Stripe Festival 2007. I'm standing here with Marc Leclerc, a.k.a. Akufin, and Gabriel Coutu Dumont. <laughs> Difficult name, I'm sorry. Uh, together, 5 millimeters. Uh, they just performed in Hall 5 and did a smashing and really intense ambient visual show. Um, well, to start this off with, uh, how did you guys get together? Uh, we've known each other, actually. We've met a few years ago. We were both working at the same, uh, the same uh, bar. Uh, I was I was DJing and he, he was uh, he was actually a, a waiter and uh, we met there and um, I've known also his his, uh, his twin brother Guillaume was actually uh, actually also a, a very important uh, musician in the electronic scene right now and uh, yeah from time to time we got together in different e events and uh, we started exchanging ideas uh, he was doing visuals I was doing music we both appreciated uh, our, our our work mutually and the idea came. Um, really to collaborate on Music for Trois Femmes Enceintes when Ars Electronica a few years ago asked me to perform the, the album that's, that was been released on Mutech uh, in the festival. So I've asked uh, Gabriel at the time if he, if he was willing to, uh, to, to try to work on some visual for, the, um, for this and this. Then the team started to, uh, then the collaboration started and now we're working on more projects in the future. Right, and uh, Gabriel, you're a photographer and a video artist. Um, are you mainly involved in electronic music, or do you do var various projects? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's various projects. Um, I mean, my base is photography, but I've been collaborating with many musicians like uh, Mono Lake too on different projects. Mark, uh, Mark and I project the uh, 5mm is the first actual complete uh, audiovisual project, which is, is symbiotic. Otherwise, it was more. I was more involved into like scenography for events like that, which would be video and lighting and you know installation work. And uh, do you guys actually work together in the studio, or do you work apart? Or? Uh, depends. <laughs> for, this, for this specific project, uh, since the, the the record was already made and the music was already made, uh, Gabriel more worked around the music. Um, and we're developing, you know, from time to time. Every time we perform, we try to add some new, you know, uh, some new material. But in the future, yeah, we, we're definitely gonna work like more like in symbiosis, you know, like in sync. Actually, this is the third version of the show, uh, so it went through all these stages. Kind of a, it had to be a work in progress because the the this Ars Electronica event, you know, arrived quite abruptly, so we had to react pretty quick, and then over the year, after presenting it and presenting it, we came up with that version, which is probably the last one, because as Marc said before, we're, uh, we're working on a new piece that should be, I don't know, for maybe for next year, so um, we're going to stop developing on this one and start moving to something else. But it really fits, like you said, the, the symbiosis is really there, I guess. Um, so, uh, does uh, do you react to what's going on with your mu with Mark's music, or is it like actually? It, um, yeah, it's uh, images are mapped on sound, so sound an analyzed either in post production or live, which is it's probably a good balance of I don't know maybe 50-50 live and pre-recorded stuff. Uh, so there's we we work with layers. Um, First layer, something that's really, really tight, done in post post production. Um, lots of interaction with images and, and sound. And for the live part, it's uh, live sound analyzed, analyzed with uh, Max MSP, and so I get a return from everything, from all this the, the layers that he, that Mark is adding live. So it be, it's kind of a it's almost like feedback because. I'm sending sound to him, he takes the sound, adds some stuff, sending back to me, so... And what would you say is the perfect setting for 5mm? Is it a club or a theater? I mean, uh, ideally I would love to perform in, a, in, in, a, in a, an environment where people can actually rest and relax and sit down. Uh, to, be, to be standing up is, uh, I think, is a bit harsh, you know, because it's not really appropriate. It's really, it's really an installation. It needs to be in a closed environment, you know, where there's no other noise, um, you know, overlapping, you know, or uh, or it has to be immersive, yeah. exactly. uh, immersive environment. Yeah. Would you say uh, musically it's a new challenge for you because uh, you're mainly known for your 
well, club yeah. records. We can say, yeah, of course, yeah, dance, pop, whatever we call it. Yeah, of course, totally. And it was for to me, it was important to go in that direction uh, because I wanted to get out of these of these environments. Not I, not I, that I, uh, you know, like uh, dislike it or or uh, you know denigrate it, but it's just that. For me, it was uh, it was it's, it was time. I'm 40 years old, you know. So for me, it was a uh, it was important to, to, to change that beat of life that I have to play in clubs, you know, and have very unstable schedules, you know, like living at ter- like playing at terrible hours, you know. So for me, it's it's actually to find also a balance in my life, also to to to, to do this uh, this yeah, kind of shows. The, the, the 1 a.m. set to uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I think there were like maybe one or two tracks with four to the floor beats, uh, and um, the fact that there are not too many beats is probably uh, a factor that makes it more intense the whole show, I guess. Well, the, the four to the floor, you know, is uh, actually like mainly every kind of music is pretty much four to the floor, four to the floor, unless you're making jazz, you know, and you're you know really going offbeat, you know that. But in, in in any kind of music, pretty much, there's a four-four element. It's just it's just that the, the percussions are not so much in evidence in this in these pieces. They're more uh, the, the the rhythm is more created by the sounds more than per, like uh, like um, obvious percussions, you know, for like for example in the club. But the end the end of the the the, um, the, the last piece actually of this uh, of this uh, of this work is is uh, is like a kind of influenced by you know basic channel. And I would say that. What's different from my own work uh, as a Ku- as a Kufan is that the music as Marc Leclerc is, uh, well, especially mu- this uh, five millimeter project is a tribute to all the influences I have through all, through all my years of learning about you know music. For example, there's a big uh, I think Steve Reich influence in a couple of pieces, you know. So that is pretty much that. It's a tribute to all the music I love and really enjoy. What that inspired me. But for for five millimeters, I think this uh, festival attracts the right cl- crowd, doesn't it? Uh, Actually, we, we arrived maybe uh, an hour and a half ago, so I need to visit. But I'm sure, yes, I, I've seen uh, stuff that's, that's, that's a little outside just a party. So I guess, yes, it's, it makes perfect sense that uh, and they present all kinds of projects, which are, I think the people that were playing yesterday or today, or they, would, they had like all these wheelchairs and drums and it seems really interesting so it, it's the mix the mixity of all these practices is, it's pretty interesting for a festival to, uh, um, and I don't want to keep you guys any longer because you really want to see uh, Mono Lake I heard um, all I want to know is uh, when is your next when will your next project be launched uh, the thing with this project is that we don't put ourselves uh, in a situation of you know pressure or, or give ourselves any deadlines there are of course certain you know deadlines But they're more virtual in terms of like it's a it's gonna be a work in progress. It's gonna probably take shapes, you know, like on the course of a couple of years, even mutate and so, do something completely different in the end. Uh, we want it first to be an installation, and then after that maybe uh, be a full show. Maybe invite also musicians from China because it's a, it's a, actually gonna be on Chinese music. We went to China for two years in a row, and we uh, we've met with like musicians who are carrying the tradition of ancient traditional Chinese music. Uh, and uh, so this is going to be probably like um, involve several years to bring musicians in, you know, so they can collaborate. Those musicians going to go away. Some others going to, you know, come. Uh, so yes, it's something that I want to mutate for on the course of like I don't know two, three, four, five years. You know, it's going to change all the time. But well, it sounds really amazing. Um, we'll be in touch. And thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers.